What what I see. But even Christians acknowledge that the Trinity is a mystery. Doesn't the Catechism say that the Trinity is a, is a mystery? Yes, but a mystery doesn't mean mysterious in the common everyday sense oh, of well. a kind of criminal of crime mystery, yeah. an Agatha Christie type no, mystery. No, I, uh, no, I understand that, but well, it means something that's incomprehensible. Yes, it? but God Himself is incomprehensible ultimately, whichever way you cut the cake. Okay. So this is just another aspect of the mystery of God. So I don't think the fact that things are mysteries should matter to people of religion. Okay. Unless it's their most basic kind of religion, you know. Yeah. This stone is my God and don't argue with me about it. <laughs> well, I could say the same about the Trinity. I could ridicule it in the same way. So what's the, what's the difference? Between what and what? Because you're, you're saying... You're, okay, so you're saying that uh, 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 God is incomprehensible. Fundamentally, yes. Doesn't mean we can't say things about him. Yeah. But, you know, we get to... God is a mystery, ultimately. Yeah. And it's a question of how much we can say about him, how much has been revealed, yeah. and how much we can deduce through our reasoning gifts. Yeah. Okay. So wouldn't you agree that the concept of God being a, a singular, being one, is easier to understand than the Trinity? I think that's true, yes. And therefore... Aren't things that are simple usually true? You know, Occam's razor, the simplest explanation is usually true. Well, that, that wouldn't be a wise um, leap to make because the, the world is massively complex. Yeah. So, well, it's all true, despite its mass complexity. And the deeper you go into it, you know, the, the, some ancient Greeks believed that the, everything was composed of atoms. Yeah, the true. atom was a singular simple thing right. but to delve into the atom brings out even more complexity than one would have imagined yeah. um, 500 years ago yeah. so the more complex the more true so we just mustn't say simplicity equals truth I, I, I don't know about Occam's that Occam's comes equals true that's, that's, I've never heard that statement I mean, well okay the, old, the ancient Greeks saying everything's yeah. composed of atoms right. so simple idea we, of yeah. atom yeah this is complex idea of atom, but the complex yeah. idea of atom is truer yeah. than the ancient Greek simple idea of atom. Well, you, you say that, but okay, so you go from just an atom down to subatomic particles, then down to quantum uh, physics. I mean, it just gets more and more sort of uh, uh, convoluted the more you study it. So, well, it. well, it's actually true though, isn't it? Well, I would say that we know about subatomic particles because you know we can do experiments that prove. That they exist, but when it, when you get down to the sort of quantum level, it becomes harder and harder. You need like specialist sort of equipment to sort of study those sure. things. So I would say, why don't we just stick to okay, atoms and subatomic particles? Forget about the you know uh, 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 more complicated stuff. Keep it simple. Well, one can do that, but it wouldn't change that reality is more complicated than we want to delve into. <laughs> Let's stop there. Okay. On that, go back to God. Because we pursued a rabbit hole, which is interesting. Yeah. So we have to be. Yeah, so we were getting we to, lost there, weren't we? <laughs> it's, all, it's all very useful, though. Yeah. One can go too far down rabbit holes sometimes. That's true.